You're taking everything I work for. You know what's the real fight? What's the real money fight is me. McGregor just won the featherweight belt at UFC 194, but with no major injuries, he decided to roll it back and compete again at UFC 196, just 12 weeks later. The main event of March 5th's UFC 196 was originally scheduled to be a super fight between lightweight champion Rafael dos Anjos and featherweight champion Conor McGregor. But less than two weeks out, those plans changed. We found out from Rafael dos Anjos that he has a broken foot. Good thing there was no lack of potential opponents for McGregor. Now you tell that to come up and I'm gonna sign on the dotted line. Mark my words, bro. You're gonna get the real local Kukui. Hey, come on, man. Sit down. Yeah! Flip flops and jeans. You look. You need to dress your age, honestly. We call Connor. Connor doesn't care. Connor says, I will fight anybody, anytime, at any weight. Ah! Then we call uh, Nate Diaz. Connor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for. I'm gonna fight your. You know what's the real fight, what's the real money fight is me. We talked to Connor, and uh, you know, the fight's supposed to be at 155. Nate says he can't make 55, so I said, let's do 60. He can't do 60, so I tell Connor, he can't do 160 pounds, he wants to do 165 pounds. Connor says, you tell him it's 170. <laughs> so now we have a welterweight bout. Connor McGregor is moving from 145 pounds to 170 pounds to fight Nate Diaz. It doesn't matter what weight divisions or anything or even what belt is on the line because really I should create my own belt because I am in myself my own belt. It doesn't matter weight. It doesn't matter if it's a featherweight, the lightweight, the welterweight. It's the McGregor belt. I've been in these big ass shows for hell of a year before this guy even existed. So I ain't no thing. I don't give a How's it feel to be a millionaire now? It's nice, right? It's nice, right? Let's be honest, come on. I don't give a I don't give a either. I don't give a either. I tell you, I like, I like mixed little clothes. I do. He coaches kids jujitsu on a Sunday morning and goes on bike rides with the elderly. He makes gun signs with the right hand and animal balloons with the left hand. So, I, 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 I'm a, you're a credit to the community. F you. F you. you. I don't give a what you say. He's talked a lot previous, said he was going to do this and going to do that. Now we're up here, we're doing this, and he is saying absolutely nothing. He's sitting in a little shell. So let's see what he's got. You're playing touch butt with that dork in the park, the ponytail. And I'm the one who ain't got no training partner? I don't think so. You seem to have it all figured out when you're fighting midgets. Gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Touch gloves if you wish. Let's do this. Not a chance. Here we go. Southpaw against Southpaw. Connor's movement was so brilliant. Spin and a miss. Nate clinch. If Nate's going to get hit by it or if he's going to counter it effectively. Couple good jabs there by Nate. Good he left hand just by Connor. missed. Five or so. Another good left hand by Connor. Takes him down. He'll pull guard, Joe. Connor, good left. Nate training for the triathlon, Joe mentioned. Strong jab by Nate. Joe, this is what the world was hoping for. The big difference that here is the ball. Oh, he tagged Got him. Got with the he good one him. there. He tagged him. He hurt him. He hurt him with that left. And he He's senses it. Connor is at less than 100%. Oh, my goodness. Combination. Nice knee to the body by Nate as well. Nate Diaz. Nate's hurting him. Taking hurting it him. to McGregor here. Shields, Richard Perez oh. and company. 
Again, Diaz connects. Connor comes back. He caught him again with the right hook. And another left. Oh. And again with the combination. And Connor. Look out. Look looks out for the, the guillotine. Takedown. The guillotine. Diaz trying to finish with a submission. He got it. Could he do it? He's Connor on top. trying to get out of it. Connor's in serious trouble. One minute on the clock. Diaz gets oh. the mouth. My goodness. Now he's got, he's got the back. He's got That's it. He's got the chance. Diaz. He's out. He You just shook up the world. How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> They're the new king of this <laughs> now, and it's right here, all right? Hey, and right on, Conor McGregor, for uh, taking the fight, too, on short notice, and we got it done. Nate Diaz, thank you for being awesome. As awesome as ever with the win over Conor. Here's Joe. I'm here with Conor McGregor. Conor. You took this fight on short notice, expecting to fight Rafael Dos Anjos. G give us your thoughts on Nate as an opponent and what went down here tonight. Uh, I took the chance going, going at 170, but Nate came in. He was uh, I felt I took him the first round, but I, I was inefficient with my energy. But I'm humble in victory or defeat. Um, I respect Nate, he came in. Yeah, he took the fight on short notice, came in at 170 and, and done the job. He, he was efficient. I wasn't efficient, that was, that was it, I feel. I wanted to get that one back. How could I slap a guy's face up all around the octagon for eight minutes and lose that way? It's a fight that must be played back. The very few fighters that are wild enough to say, I don't care who I fight. Someone falls out, give me whoever is available. Give me whoever will take it. And to be able to do that in the main event of a huge MMA card like Conor McGregor did, it takes a very daring and crazy individual. Against Nate Diaz, that did not pay off. My preparation was for the, the UFC lightweight belt. So nine days out, it gets changed. I got an opponent and we carried on. No one has been able to take the kind of punches that Conor McGregor delivers. He throws with excellent precision, his speed is blinding, and his power at 145 pounds is extraordinary. He hits hard for a 145-pound guy. You know, I didn't think he, he hit like no Superman or anything. He hit as hard as I figured he would probably hit. But Nate Diaz is not a 145-pounder. He's a natural lightweight who has competed as a welterweight, and he's a bigger man. And he absorbed those shots. He got through that first round, and Conor McGregor was tired. I was simply fatigued. My lactate was through the roof, and I couldn't flush it out. And I was drowning in there, so that was it. And then it went 100 to zero real quick. <laughs> oh my goodness! Combination! Nate Diaz Nate turned up. taking turned it up. to McGregor here! As time was going to go on, I felt like it was going to just get better for me, but it just flopped. He's got him flattened out! Now he's got That's the it. back! He's got the chance! Nate Diaz! He has done he's it! Out. He's he's out. all over! Nate Diaz beats Conor McGregor! They thought he was going to touch one. They were putting him out like he was uh, unstoppable. What a night, ladies and gentlemen. What a night. So I guess, yeah, that exposed him, I guess, right? <laughs> the boy got lucky. That's it. He got very, very lucky. You might say he hit the lotto. The mystique of Conor McGregor ended to the beat of tap, tap, tap. Oh, Nate Diaz's plan succeeded, and he was ready to collect. That was the plan, and yeah, that's the way it's going down. <laughs> I'm the only one that gets the job done. And then all of a sudden in he's shooting, yeah. he's shooting for a takedown, yeah. and I'm like, oh, you're a wrestler. Uh, he tweeted this thing right here, still the champ. Beaver walks up right now, you say what? Smack. <laughs> yeah, fool. <laughs> I'm at the top, so it's their call, what's next? We'll see what happens. It's all over now. What's telling about Conor McGregor, which shows what kind of a competitor he is, is that he wanted this fight right away. 
He didn't want to go back and defend his featherweight title. What he wanted to do was have one more shot at Nate Diaz. If you're a fighter, you want to fight the guy who beat you. You always want that one back. I wanted to get that one back. How could I slap a guy's face all around the octagon for eight minutes and then lose that way? It stung and I must get that back, so that's what I'm gonna do. The highly anticipated rematch was originally scheduled for UFC 200 in July. That was until the tweet heard round the world. I've decided to retire young. Thanks for the cheese. Catch you later. All right. The news hit TV and social media like a tsunami. Speculation built 140 characters at a time. Some celebrated, others were skeptical. The one certainty was that no one had any idea what the hell had happened. You know what this feels like to me? A disagreement with Dana White and Conor McGregor. His tweet yeah. is the biggest tweet by an athlete this year. Yeah. Beat Kobe Bryant's retirement yeah. tweet. What is going on here with Conor McGregor? Conor did not want to come to Las Vegas and film the commercial or be a part of any of the marketing that we have, and that's not possible. Ladies and gentlemen, Nate. The UFC 200 press conference marched on with the rest of the key players. But instead of the trademark Conor McGregor flair, confidence, and wit, all we got was an empty chair. Connor just tweeted something that makes it seem like that he's at least watching this press conference. You got anything to say to him if he's watching? What did he tweet? <laughs> he tweeted something to the effect of he respects everybody making it out here, but no one on the stage made the company $400 million in the last eight months or something like that. Connor got his ass beat. <laughs> A full month after his notorious tweet, Conor McGregor was spotted at the Beverly Hilton in Los Angeles with UFC president Dana White. I went about it wrong also how I handled it. I handled it very, very uh, wrong, um, so. But they did too, so it is what it is. There's no point in going back to it. We put it aside, we corrected it, and here we are now. The fight was on. Listen to that. We're starting without him. Yes, start respecting people's time, man. Yours, theirs, mine, theirs. Does that upset you that, uh, that he's not here? Either? Nah, I don't care. It's rude. He fought 145 pounds and 155 pounds his career, and I fought 155 pounds in my own career. So I don't know how all of a sudden became this monstrous heavyweight against Conor McGregor. Just because I won the fight. Pressure for Conor. Are you able to uh, clear up why you were a little late to the press conference? Vegas traffic's heavy as well this time of year. I don't know. Must, there must be a McGregor show going on because the place is packed out. Look, I'm just happy to be here. I'm ready to fight. That's all I know. Cut, cut all the I'm here. I'm ready to fight. You know you're going to get a fight when I'm, when I'm here. Make no mistake, it will be a trilogy fight down the line. It won't be straight away, but we will, we will do it three times, 100%. Oh, you Shut your f mouth. You'll do nothing. You'll do f***ing nothing. Not one of you will do nothing. Get the f out of here. Get the f out of here. That's a wrap. I'm out of here. Come on, come on. I'm going back out here. I'm going to go back out here. I'm going to go back out here. Let me talk. Let me talk. Come on. Sorry, guys. See you Saturday. So the killer can't be killed again, you are so first. The notorious Connor McGregor! Nate Diaz! Gentlemen, went over the rules in the back. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. I want you to fight hard, but fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch now. Good luck to you both of you. Like I said the first time, not a chance. Not a chance. Here we go! McGregor, the southpaw in the green trunks. Diaz, the southpaw in the black trunks. And as I suspected, right away, he's opening up with the leg kicks. Nate has shown ability to be hit there before. And McGregor, again. over and over. 
Oh, he, he tagged him. him. He tagged him. Straight left connects. Connor says, get on up. <laughs> Diaz opens up. Final seconds of the round. One nothing McGregor. Oh, tag left. He heard him with that. Get back up. Tag 19 and left. counting with the leg kicks. Oh, he heard it again. Connor feels it. Wouldn't it be something if he stops him in round two? Which is when Diaz defeated him five and a half months ago. Obsessed every single day. He... Oh, he's Good landing. combination. Nate put and pressure on. rocks him. And again. Big combination. Nate Diaz weathered the storm, and now Conor McGregor is in trouble. 30 seconds. And he's been much more calculated in this fight, Joe. This third round. And Nate senses and it. Nate just pointed to him, and he just rocked him. Inside the octagon tonight. Now, talking to him and putting pressure on him. Stand right in his face. Here we go. Quick punches to the jaw. Oh! There's the big body shots. McGregor's in big trouble here. Nate Diaz, Diaz is going looking off. to finish it right here, right now. Oh, oh nasty shot to the body. Hurt. Big trouble for McGregor. Final seconds of the round. Just trying to survive. Wow. Counter. Nate is bloodied up, Mike, real bad. And he just ate. Both of these men. Moving well. Ducked all three takedowns. Trying to stay in it here, Joe. Two and a half minutes. Good combination by Connor. Redemption. Beautiful takedown by Nate Diaz. In the final seconds of the fifth round. Could be huge on the judges' scorecards. Wow. What a fight. They left it all inside the octagon. What a fight. The notorious Connor McGregor! Surprise, surprise, The king is back! He's a hell of a fight. He's a hell of a competitor. Brought out the best in me. All I know is it's 1-1. Regroup, boy, we'll do it again. This time at 155 pounds. I came up to 170, faced the bigger man, overcame my adversity. Now you want this trilogy? It's on my terms. Come back down to 155, we'll do it. I thought I'd win that fight. They can't have a <laughs> like me winning. I'm too real for this sport. They're going to get me out when they can, but it's all good, though. I came to this fight worse off than last time. I didn't get a train. I had injuries. <laughs> Excuse this, but he should have finished me off. I, I want number three. I gave him number two the second day, so I'm ready to go again. <laughs> yeah.